Hello, everyone. I'm Vincenzo Calla, and welcome to Meet the PMs, episode 12. Today, we will be meeting Canada's 12th Prime Minister, Louis Saint Laurent. Louis Saint Laurent was born in Compton, Quebec on February 1st, 1882. He was a successful lawyer before entering politics. He first started getting involved in politics in 1941 when he was asked by Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King to become the Justice Minister. Before this, uh, Louis Saint Laurent didn't have much of an interest in politics, but because he was a successful lawyer, he decided that he would take uh, Mackenzie King's offer and become Justice Minister. He became Prime Minister on November 15th, 1948, and served until June 20th, 1957. He represented the riding of Quebec East. He was a member of the Liberal Party. Louis Saint Laurent died in Quebec City on July 25th, 1973. Louis Saint Laurent had accomplishments and he had failures. His biggest accomplishment was the role he played in establishing NATO. He worked with the British and the Americans and some other countries to see this through, and it was the first military pact Canada signed in peacetime. His biggest failure, however, was the gas pipeline affair, where the Minister of Trade and Commerce, C.D. Howe, introduced the construction of a pipeline, and it was a good idea, but it wasn't well received because it was very dependent on the Americans, uh, on the American economy, using it and working with it. And the opposition conservatives led by John Diefenbanker would not let it down. And it was one of the reasons why Saint liberals lost the 1957 election. It was a very hot issue in the House of Commons. His second biggest accomplishment was furthering Canada's role as its own nation by appointing the first Canadian Governor General, Vincent Massey. His second biggest failure was kind of a failure in the eyes of Canadians. Um, what actually happened wasn't a failure, but the reasoning behind it became a failure. So he didn't show enough support, well, enough support for Great Britain as the British would say, uh, during the Suez Canal crisis. So basically what this crisis was, was that Egypt nationalized the Suez Canal, which is in Egypt, and Britain and France didn't like this because it would hurt their international trade. They were using it, and by Egypt nationalizing it, it would hurt them. So Lester B. Pearson was asked by, who was at the that time Secretary of State for External Affairs, was asked by PM Saint Laurent to, to figure this out. So he worked with other partners to send an international force and they did and the crisis ended. But the Canadian government did, they did well, they finished it, they helped end it, but it was seen as a treasonable act against Britain. And it was another part of the reason why they lost the 1957 election. A lot of people were still loyal to Britain. They didn't like that Canada kind of went and did their own thing and didn't support Britain through what they were doing. His third biggest accomplishment really was uh, his excellent cabinet. Uh, Louis Saint Laurent had an excellent slate of politicians in his government, and he had a fantastic cabinet, a very competent, intelligent cabinet, including Lester B. Pearson, who would go on to become prime minister later on, C.D. Howe, Douglas Abbott, and Brooke Claxton, all in it. It was a fantastic, intelligent, competent cabinet, as I mentioned. Today, Louis Saint Laurent is remembered as a grandfatherly type prime minister. He's also remembered through a classified heritage building in Quebec City. There's also a federal office building in Gatineau, Quebec, named after him, but it has been abandoned because there was a fire in 2016 and the roof caved in and the government didn't want to spend any more money on it. So, um, so that isn't in use anymore. And there's also a statue of Louis Saint Laurent outside of the Supreme Court of Canada in Ottawa. So a final recap of Louis Saint Laurent. He served from 1948 to 1957, established Canada's role as its own nation in many ways. In the future, Louis Saint Laurent will be remembered as a successful grandfatherly prime minister. So that is all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning about Louis Saint Laurent. You can check out some more videos coming soon about all the prime ministers on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, click the subscribe button, and make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss a video. 
Make sure also check out my website, VincenzoCala.com and follow VC Productions 25 on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala, signing out. Meet the PMs is a VCALA production.